Hi, this is Shane Frey with TaxSalesSupport.com with the property deal of the week for October 20th. Uh, and I'm also sitting here next to my business partner, Steven Swenson. Yeah, if you guys have been following us, you know that we've been doing uh, property uh, deals each week with different types of opportunities that are coming up. And this week we've been focusing on California. And we have another great property to show you. Now, before we do that, we quickly want to review California so you understand how it works. Uh, what will happen in California is they're a tax deed state, so after five years, the county will actually do a foreclosure on the property. Yeah, so the county will then offer the properties up at a tax sale, uh, starting out at what's owed in taxes and fees. Uh, so you're buying the property outright there through either a live auction or an online auction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, one thing about California is they do not offer over-the-counters. This is something that, you know, California does not do. But what they do do is they hold what's called a resale. Now, what they do in resales is they'll take any of the properties that didn't sell, and a lot of times they'll start with a minimum bid amount. We've seen them anywhere between $100 to $500. So instead of selling over the counters, that's how they get rid of excess inventory. Yeah, yeah through multiple sales here and uh, by lowering that price. So let's take a look at the property here uh, for this week. This is a home uh, that is located in uh, in Santa Clara County uh, that is starting out at just twenty two thousand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, definitely a, a low opening bid amount. Uh, this is going to be an online auction for uh, for uh, Santa Clara County there in California, and it uh, looks like the auction is going to start on the twenty fifth and go till the twenty eighth. Yeah, we can see the uh, the minimum bid there of twenty two thousand. Uh, deposit required in this, within it being an online auction of five thousand dollars. We can also see on the left hand side below that the uh, the physical location, the address. Yeah. Now, also one quick thing is each of these properties are going to go up with a hundred dollar bid amount, or that's going to essentially be the bid increment. So it'll go, you know, from twenty two four hundred to twenty two five hundred six hundred and on up. Yeah. Now a little bit further down we have. Uh, things like the parcel number. Uh, we also have links to the uh, the parcel map or accounting map showing us the boundaries of the property as well as direct links to things like the assessor's record. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's all information that we're going to research if we were interested in, in bidding on this property. Yeah, so this property we can see has an assessed value of 126300 roughly. Yeah, now one thing that's a little bit weird about the assessed value on this property is actually the property is valued at quite a bit higher than that. Uh, but here's a picture of, of the home. You can see it looks so overall uh, like it's in pretty good shape. Now before we've been on it, we always recommend with structures doing an on-site evaluation, oh, yeah, especially it's... for a home. But at least at the photo here, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, now uh, from what we can see here with the assessor's record, uh, we can see that they're giving the land value, uh, value of 41000 the improvements at value of eighty four for a combined total of one twenty six. Yeah, yeah, now it'll be interesting here when we show you, you know, the value. That's one thing that's, that's kind of interesting about these assessor records is the property value tends to be quite a bit higher. Yeah. So uh, we can also see a few more images here uh, of the property to get an idea here. Um, it's, uh, you know, being in California, a lot of the properties there have uh, higher values. We know the real estate there sells for a lot. Yeah, exactly. You know, here's a map of it, uh, overhead map. We can get an idea of the location and the neighborhood um, and kind of also the lot dimensions. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is, you know, pretty, um, you know, shocking there on the size. There. The, the estimated uh, value on the property is $1.254 million. Yeah, yeah, $1.2 million. We can see the last home, the last time this home sold was in 1977 for 61000 So we haven't had a huge amount of ownership in this property, which is good for tax sale investing, which means that when we do... Uh, need to do the quiet title, and we would do a quiet title on a property like this most likely. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we know that it hasn't been sold multiple times over and over again, and it really was last sold back at, you know, 40, 42 years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's been in, uh, in the ownership of uh, the same party for all of that time. Uh, so, yeah, starting off at such a low amount, I mean, starting off at 22000 there is going to be a ton of room for potential profit. I mean, even if you were looking around and find comps, 
if that value is anywhere close well, to Well, even being if you had to put a hundred grand into repairs, which would be really making that property from a two, three bedroom to, yeah. you know, or making it from a one bath to a two bath or something and like for that. For one and a quarter million, there's going to be profitability in there. Yeah. Well, and even if it's only worth half that. Yeah, even, you know, a, even, even if, half that, the numbers work. Yeah, if it was worth 700000 that'd still be a huge return off of a potential profit and, you know, ability. Yeah, the numbers just work so well on, uh, on some of these properties. And so this one has tremendous potential uh, profit and it's probably one of the, well, definitely one of the cheapest uh, homes you'll probably find in the area will sell, you know, like this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> well, if you guys have uh, any questions, if you'd like to find out more about auction lists like we've shown you, uh, we provide uh, for, to our members over 500 lock auction lists each month, whether that be live auctions, online auctions. We have thousands of over-the-counter trainings. Uh, we even offer live weekly webinars each week. Yeah, it's all part of our membership program, which is a combination of training and tax sell lists that you can download. We wanted to provide something that would be affordable for people and also effective. And so you can do it for just $39 a month, $29 if you want to pay for a one-year membership. Yeah, exactly. We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's really no risk. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's easily hands down the uh, the best bargain out there when it comes to uh, uh, any kind of training that's available for tax sale investors. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, we want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and subscribe and click the thumbs up button and give us a like. Thank you.